مرة زرت المنطقة المحيطة بجبل كينيا كنت يعني تفاجأت بجمال المكان وجمال الطبيعة يمكن كان شهر 11 أول شهر 11 وكان الجو فيه شوية غيوم على أنه كان أول بداية موسم الأمطار فطبعا زاد من الدراما على المناظر الخلابة طبعا بالنسبة للجبل اللي هو تاني على شبل بأفريقيا الإشي الثاني اللي فاجأني هي مساحات الواسعة والشاسعة من الأراضي اللي مسورة بأسوار كهربائية أنا من وين ما أنا جاي أكيد الأراضي الخاصة عادي يكون في حواليها سور بس في شيء بهذا المكان خلاني أحس إنه الأشياء هذه أو هاي الأسوار غريبة في شيء ضايقني ستأسأل نفسي أو من مين سكان الأرض هاي الأصليين وين عايشين وكيف عايشين Most of them live in northern like Ipia North, one close to 13%. Uh, and you also find that um, most of them are um, they own small pieces of land um, in the middle of huge uh, private ranches. Also, in that case, um, and uh, at the same time, you also uh, realize uh, this land, these communities uh, were initially the owners of this land. So these things happened uh, so many years back. Um, so now they are, all of them are in a small area. The, the grazing zones are dramatic, uh, dramatically reduced. Uh, in that case, also uh, accelerating conflict issues uh, between the communities and the private ranchers. Um, uh, we also have so many historical land injustices issues in Laikipia County. Uh, there are so many stock routes, uh, holding grounds, Uh, in Lake Kipia, and now at the moment you find that uh, they are now in private ranches. So uh, these communities, they don't even have a place where they can move with their livestock. You know, you understand that uh, these are pastoralists. They are nomads. They move from one place to another. And now those initial stock routes are, are now uh, privately owned. So, so now the only place they can pass is the road. So the livestock themselves do not have anywhere to graze.
mulu.